This is a video of the wind rotor sailing craft being tested. The wind rotor is connected to an underwater propeller by gearing. The underwater propeller rotates much faster than the wind blades. After many practical tests on models, I was able to decide which was the best design of wind rotor to use for going directly into the wind. I concluded that the best angle of pitch for the rotor blades would be 45 degrees. At this angle the blades rotate at the same speed as the wind. This is a very slow rotation speed compared with the type of wind turbine used on land. There are several advantages. The stresses on the blades are much lower than on the land wind turbine and therefore can be made much lighter. These ones were made of balsa wood actually. Due to the low rotational speed there are no gyroscopic effects. Due to the belt drive the wind rotor assembly was not able to rotate fully 360 degrees and therefore needed to jibe when passing through the wind with the wind from behind. It would do this automatically. To be able to control the wind rotor and stop it if needed it was necessary to make a pitch control mechanism. Using this I found that the stops and starts of the rotor were nearly instantaneous. Because the rotor trails behind the pivot point the whole assembly weather cocks into the wind automatically and it is balanced by a counterweight on a spar. The counterweight assembly shows exactly where the wind is coming from because it points in that direction. You can check the speed of the rotor by the black mark on the end of one of the blades. It's really quite slow.